This screencast covers the material from Module 4, or Lesson 4. This is the first of two screencasts. Uh, this screencast is going to focus on modeling and the algorithms. And the second screencast will focus on the word problems using the practice set as well as a couple from the homework that are maybe a little bit tricky and more difficult than those in the uh, practice set. So let's get started with the modeling and the algorithms. Okay, we're going to do the uh, first set of problems here, and it should be much like what you see in your homework. The instructions are draw a tape diagram to solve. Express your answer as fra a fraction. Uh, show the multiplication sentence to check your answer. The first one is done to you. You'll have um, a one entire problem done for you on your homework, but I'm going to go through this now and show you what we need to do. We have 2 divided by 3. So if we look at our expression, we see that uh, 2 is our dividend, so that becomes our uh, numerator, and 3 is our divisor. So we've expressed that as a fraction. Now we're going to do the modeling. Because our dividend, or whole, is 2, we're going to bracket this and label it 2. We're going to split it into 3 equal parts, and then we'll put a bracket here and a question mark. So we have three units equals two. One unit equals two divided by three, and that equals two-thirds. This is, uh, you're going to find this to be uh, very powerful modeling in future lessons here. Now we're going to simply do the division problem. So uh, we have 2 in my dividend, 3 in my divisor. 3 goes into 2, 0 times. And 3 times 0 is 0, and I get 2. So I get 2 thirds, 0 and 2 thirds. Now we're going to check. We have, if we look at the diagram, 3, 2 thirds. If we put 3, 2 thirds together, we should get 2. So we're going to do the multiply check. When I do the multiply check, I'm going to multiply the quotient times the uh, divisor. So we have 3 times 2 thirds, and that equals 2 thirds plus two-thirds, plus two-thirds. The sum of two-thirds, two-thirds, plus two-thirds is six-thirds. And we get six divided by three, and that equals two. And that is our dividend, so our check turns out correctly. Let's do the next one. Seven-fifths, or seven divided by five, again, the dividend becomes my numerator, the divisor becomes my denominator. Now we'll model the problem, making our rectangular model. We have a rectangle, tape diagram, the whole is 7 because the dividend is 7. I'll now divide that into 5 equal parts. Put a question mark underneath one of those. So I have uh, 5 units equals 7. 1 unit equals 7 divided by 5, which is 7 fifths. And I can convert that to a mixed number. It would become 1 and 2 fifths. Now we'll do the division. So again, 7, my dividend goes in the tableau, 5 my divisor. 5 goes into 7 once, 1 times 5 is 5, I subtract, I get 2. The remainder becomes my numerator, and the divisor is my denominator, so I get 1 and 2 fifths. So now we'll do our check. 5 times, we'll use the mixed number, 1 and 2 fifths equals... 
one and two fifths plus one and two fifths plus one and two fifths again and one more time we'll find the sum of the whole numbers that's five and the sum of the fractions we have two fifths times five that's ten fifths and ten fifths is equal to two so uh, five plus two equals seven and that gets me back to my dividend let's do one last example make a little more room here now we have fourteen divided by five is fourteen fifths okay and we could also at this point change that to uh, our mixed number as well. I didn't do that with the previous one, but we can. So that would be two and four fifths. Let's do the model. Our whole is the dividend 14. We're going to divide that into five equal parts. Bracket one. Put a question mark. Going through our protocol here, five units, one, two, three, four, five, equals 14. One unit equals 14 divided by five equals 14 fifths equals two and four fifths. Now we'll do the division. 5 goes into 14 twice. 2 times 5 is 10. I get a remainder of 4. The remainder becomes my numerator. My divisor is my denominator. Now we'll do the check. Oops. Move that over a little bit just so we have a little more space to work. So I have 5 times 2 and four fifths equals two and four fifths five times. We're going to add that repeatedly. We'll find the sum of the whole numbers. So I have two five times, that's ten, plus my fractions. So I have four fifths five times. So that gives us twenty fifths. And twenty fifths becomes four. And ten plus four is fourteen. So again, we're back to our dividend. This is much like the previous page, except we're not going to do any modeling. I have a, a chart here, and they ask us to have the division expression, the fraction, uh, then estimate between what two whole numbers it is, and use the standard algorithm to calculate. The first one's done. The second one, well, let's, uh, we have the division expression. So we are going to write that again. The dividend is my numerator, and my divisor is my denominator. And they already filled in. Six-sevenths, obviously, is between zero and one. Now we do the problem. 7 goes into 6 0 times. 7 times 0 is 0. 6 is our remainder. That's our numerator. And the divisor is our denominator. Let's do another one. Let's see if I can move that page up without issue here. Yeah, worked nicely this time. Well, this time I don't have my division expression but I do have my improper fraction. So I will take my numerator, that becomes my dividend, and my divisor is 10. Now I know that this answer is going to have 55 tenths, and it's easy enough to estimate. Uh, 10 tenths is 1, etc. 50 tenths is 5, 60 tenths is 6. 
55 is between 50 and 60 tenths, so my answer is going to be between 5 and 6. Let's write the problem. The dividend goes under the tableau, the divisor goes outside, 10 goes into 55, 5 times, 5 times 50, 10 is 50, I subtract and I get a 5. The 5 becomes my numerator, my divisor becomes my denominator. The answer is 5 and 5 tenths. I'm going to do a separate video for the word problems, again from the problem set, and a couple from the homework which are a little bit more difficult, so I'm going to give you some guidance with those.